Hello, my name is Silent Gimmon, and I'm the owner of the TrustIsYou.com in a podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. My goal is to help as many U.S. business owners, 1099 income earners, and investors to save federal taxes with the Spendthrift Trust. So few people have ever heard of the Spendthrift Trust. This is why I do these uh, presentations. The Spendthrift Trust is legal, copywritten, in the IRS tax code 643B. The law firm I work on behalf of has been around for over 73 years and not a single trust has ever been audited. There's a reason why they can give a certification saying they will defend you if the, uh, if the IRS comes after you. It doesn't happen. Now, to give you a little bit of history, the, it's contract law that comes from England way back when King Henry VIII, yes, the famous king who chopped off his wives' heads, started the Church of England. Uh, he went to go tax the lords and ladies of England. They went back to the Magna Carta and its contract law and came to the colonies while we were still part of uh, Britain. The law firm I work on behalf of inherited a trust that turned 350 years old in 2023, before we were a country. The current tax law only went into effect in February of 1913 and was supposed to be around for six years. The very, very rich families, or the Baron families of that time, the DuPonts, the Carnegies, the Kennedys, and the Rockefellers, put this in the trust uh, in 643B in the IRS uh, tax code so they can continue to save uh, taxes. The Rockefellers Trust is seven generations old, has almost 400 people in the trust, they call it the office, and they get to save money year after year, generation after generation. My goal is to teach this to as many people as possible. My personal story, so you all have this. My mom got sick, uh, uh, got septic of the blood. She was on a ventilator for 13 months in a hospital for 18 months. I'm sorry, 15 months. Uh, her first uh, bill from Medicare for the month of uh, November was $172,000. It shocked me. I became a real estate investor in late uh, 2018, and in 2019, I was still working full-time, and I wholesaled seven properties. Yay, Sally! I paid off all my debt. I was so excited. I was a rock star in my real estate group. When I went to go do my 2019 uh, taxes, my CPA asked me to come into the office. I drove over to Scottsdale. I was living in Phoenix. I drove over to Scottsdale, uh, parked in the parking garage, went up to talk to him, and he says, do you realize you owe $79,000 in short-term capital gains to the federal government? My stomach dropped to my feet. I held it together. I shook his hand. I went out, got my, uh, parking, uh, uh, my uh, parking validated, went down to my car in the parking garage, and literally cried for 20 minutes. $79,000. I wholesaled, so I was making money and paying things off. So I was going to have to do quite a bit of work. Well, uh, driving home, uh, going back to Phoenix, uh, about rush hour traffic, the sun setting in, in your eyes, everything else. I tell my boyfriend, he's like, hey, don't worry, we'll figure things out. My great aunt Kitty always made a comment saying, sleep on it. I went to bed, and the next morning I woke up at 5 a.m. going, where's that book? In my real estate group, a gentleman named Garrett Gunderson wrote a book called What the Rockefellers Do. I had a copy of that book. I used that book to contact as many people as I could to figure out how the Rockefellers got to save so much money. This is how I found out about the private law firm in Texas that had, uh, 72 years ago, now it's going to be 73 years because it's 2024, Robert Benson was a Harvard Law professor. He wrote the Benson Financial Trust. He started a law firm with his best friend, they left the law firm to two, two sons, and now a grandson has a firm. This has been going on for 72 years. The law firm's changed its names, but again, no trust has ever been audited by the IRS. Robert Benson knew what he was doing. I'm inviting everybody who's on this call to set up a 30-minute tax breakthrough session with me. I, let me go over the different trusts. that I do. Uh, it is split in two. One's the business trust for U.S. business owners and 1099 income earners. They will save at least 90% on their federal income taxes year after year, generation after generation. If you're in a state that has state income taxes, to give you an idea, uh, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Kentucky, uh, California, you can save, save your state income taxes. I have clients who are saving thousands and thousands of dollars. 
to give you an idea, one of my clients here in uh, North Carolina, I have two pizzerias. They they make uh, gross income about one hundred eighty thousand dollars a year. Their their taxes are about thir over three hundred thousand uh, over thirty thousand dollars a year, and they're going to save at ninety percent twenty over twenty seven thousand dollars every single year. So what they're going to do with that savings is open a third pizzeria in two thousand twenty four and open a fourth pizzeria in two thousand twenty five. Uh, whoops, I didn't want to do that. Cancel. Another client of mine, just to give you an idea, uh, just so I, I can go over this. Um, I, I can get my cheat sheet, so I have it here. That um, he's a real estate broker, and he's he's uh, got about 15 uh, real estate agents under him. He started the trust back in March of 2023. So far, uh, we have saved him over $59,754 on his federal income taxes for 2023. Another a client of mine who's a business coach and a, a public speaker. Again, in 2023, he saved $58,726. That's a lot of money. In 2022, I only paid, uh, I, I saved 92% on my federal income taxes. I only paid 8%. Again, this is the business trust for U.S. business owners and 1099 income earners. If you would like to have a 30-minute tax breakthrough session with me, please go out to my website, www.thetrustisyou.com slash scheduling. It, you know, again, I'll take you out to uh, Nerd Wallet. It's a free website. I'll give you the formula. I'll show you the formula of how much you're paying and then times it by 90% and say you can save at least 90%. Now, the beneficial trust. This is for any U.S. investor. I don't care what kind of investor you are. You might be a passive investor. You might be a, a crypto investor. You might be a real estate investor. You might be a Forex investor. You might be in the stock market. You might be doing commodities. You might have rental income, or you might be in the NFT world. With the beneficial trust, you will save the following taxes year after year, generation after generation. Short-term capital gains, uh, which is a year or less, hence the title of my, cap, uh, my podcast, Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. That's what I got in trouble for. Short-term capital gains, then long-term capital gains, a year or more. I work with business brokers because when you sell a business, you will pay 15% or 20% on the profits of selling that business. Again, I'm going out to my little cheat sheet, so I have it. Um, give, give me one second while I have this. Um, where is this? Car wash. Here it is. Uh, one of my one of my uh, clients just sold a car wash. Um, with at fifteen percent, he's going he's going to be saving uh one hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. At twenty percent, he'll save two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Now, just to give you an idea, he's 65, his wife is 63. This is these six figures they're going to be saving on their 2023 taxes. So when they do their taxes, that they won't have to pay these capital gains. This will go to their retirement. They can pay off their mortgage. They can uh, buy a new car. They can give to charity. They can help a, a family member, whatever they want to do with these six figures. That's long-term capital gains. Interest income. This is for anyone who's a passive investor, a Forex investor, uh, doing subject to, doing the Burr strategy, creative financing, seller financing, the Burr strategy, or if you're uh, in a REIT, you're going to save interest income. Dividend income. If you're in the stock market, a day trader, doing commodities trading, doing um, futures trading. If you are an options trader, listen up. You get taxed 40% on your profits a year or less or 60% on your profits for a year or more. You get to save that with the uh, beneficial spendthrift trust. Rental income, yes, yes, yes. You can take depreciation or you can do cost averaging. Yes, you can do that, that with the spendthrift trust, but I didn't tell you the four ways you're gonna save with the spendthrift trust. Number one, you're gonna save federal taxes year after year, generation after generation. Number two, you're going to keep all your information private. Your LLC, S Corp or C Corp is statutory law. And I can write a freedom of information letter to the Secretary of State or the Corporation Commission with a stamped envelope and I get all that information. Number three, this is very important for real estate investors uh, with rental income. You, uh, you put everything in the trust 
and it, you then become um, a lawsuit. Uh, they can't sue you. Well, they can sue you, but you're worth nothing. The old adage from Nelson Rockefeller, own nothing, control everything. So just to give you an idea, if someone tries to sue me, I'm worth nothing. Everything's in the trust and it becomes a frivolous lawsuit. I'm going to age myself, but if you all remember um, O.J. Simpson, you know, he got acquitted for killing his wife, uh, for murdering his wife and Ron Simpson, uh, Ron, I got the wrong name, Ron, Ron Goldman, Ron Goldman. They sued, the Goldman family sued O.J. for $135 million. It became a frivolous lawsuit. And then silly O.J. actually went to jail a few years ago for breaking into a hotel, a uh, Las Vegas hotel room. All his stuff that was in the Spendthrift Trust never got uh, touched or anything else. The gentleman is still golfing today and living a, a, a large life. Uh, so that's rental income. Again, if it's short term, like Airbnb, rental arbitrage, vacation rentals, or if it's uh, 10 doors, 20 doors, commercial uh, property, uh, multifamily, you'll save so much money there. And then finally, royalties. Royalties could be anything from being an author, a songwriter, an actor, having intellectual property, having oil wells, I get paid because it's uh, copyrighted. I get paid as a royalty and I don't pay taxes because I have a beneficial spendthrift trust. I have both the business and the beneficial spendthrift trust. Again, I'm inviting you to set up an appointment with me, www.thetrustisyou.com slash scheduling. I go live every Monday night, 8 p.m. East Coast time on Zoom. And on uh, January 9th, uh, Tuesday at 4 p.m., I'm going to go live uh, with my new presentation and open it up for question and answering. That, if you want to register for that, www.thetrustisyou.com slash save. I want to help as many U.S. business owners, 1099 income earners, and investors know the uh, secret of the rich and to start saving federal taxes just like the uh, rich families do. Thank you for watching. My name is Sally Gimmon. My website, www.thetrustisyou.com. Have a beautiful weekend and enjoy yourselves. Take care.